Get an acne scars wire. Hyperpigmentation wire. Hey fam, welcome back to another video on It Be Inspired. If you are new, you know what to do. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. So as you guys can see, I have this beautiful, flawless makeup look. Today we're gonna be doing a pitted acne scar makeup tutorial. This is going to be step by step. This is the makeup look that I normally go for when I go out. This is the look that always gives me compliments, always has people asking if I'm a makeup artist. This is the look y'all, this is the look. Looking in the mirror, looking in the camera, Obviously, there is some texture a little bit, but <laughs> your girl, she's a little delulu because <laughs> she can't really see her scars like that, okay? So if you guys want to see this pitted acne scar makeup tutorial to have my face looking so beautiful and flawless, go ahead and keep watching. So I went ahead and I already skin prepped, so now we're gonna go ahead and start with our primer. Y'all say it with me, y'all already know the primer that I've been using, if you have been here. I am using the Timeless Smoothing Primer Base by <laughs> Tarte. Y'all already know, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite primer in the game. If they ever discontinue this primer, I think I will cry. Now I have been using other primers, but somehow I tend to always Go back to this primer, y'all. It's so thick and nice, and uh, it's just so good. I love it so much. This is what I will say. Lately, I've been hearing a lot of people saying don't get silicone primers if you have pitted acne scarred skin. Eh. I am living proof that silicone primers work on pitted acne scarred skin, okay? Okay, all right, now, I think where people go wrong, and this is just my opinion, but where I think people go wrong is, is that they don't have a good face for their face. And that's why I say skin prep is so important. Make sure that when you are using your moisturizer, you are using something that's nice, water-based, and hydrating. And that way, when you put on that silicone primer, baby, Nothing is gonna separate. Everything is going to work out just fine. There won't be any issues. The longer you wait for this primer to sit and settle in, the better your makeup looks. So I like to wait as long as 30 minutes sometimes. When I'm ready to go out and I want my face to be <laughs> snatched, I will wait like a good 30 minutes. But for the time being, because we have things to do today, I'm gonna wait about like five minutes. So it's been a few minutes. I feel like the primer has really settled into my skin. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do color correcting. Y'all, this is one of the most important steps when it comes to doing your makeup with pitted acne scars. And that is because this base part of your face is gonna determine if the rest of your makeup is going to look cakey or not. So if you do a good base for your face, you won't have to put on as much makeup later on. You can put on less makeup because you already have a good base of coverage for your face. I'm gonna show you guys what that means. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Juvia's Place Concealer. I am in 10. I don't know what this concealer is called exactly. I will leave a link down below. And as you can see, it's a nice yellow concealer. It is so full coverage, it is so thick. As you can see, I'm literally only putting dots on the bottom of my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry down a little bit before I blend. And while that's drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This color corrector is in reddish. So where the rest of my hyperpigmentation falls, which is around here, my cheeks, as you can see, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit in my chin area. I'm gonna go ahead and just color correct 
there. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending. And I'm gonna take a pretty dense brush. You can use any kind of dense brush. I got this brush from like Amazon, but I pat just enough so that you can see the scars come through. And I know you're like, that makes no sense. Why would you blend enough to see the scars come through? I'm blending enough, as you can see, so that it's covering enough scars but if i don't blend enough then when i put on my foundation my foundation is going to show as red because because the color corrector is not blended enough so i blend this just enough and now the juvia's place concealer should be good to go and i kind of just go over that color corrector and once again it is okay for this hyperpigmentation to show through because we're gonna be using other products. You just wanna use enough to the point where you're getting some kind of coverage. If you want to, you can take some setting powder and just set all the places that you went ahead and concealed and color corrected so that nothing moves. So now I'm gonna go in with some liquid foundation. Liquid foundation is so important for us with pitted acne scarred skin. Now, when I'm doing like a really, really natural makeup look, I'll use like a stick foundation, but highly 10 out of 10 recommend a liquid foundation for pitted acne scarred skin. Today I'm going in with the 24 hour foundation from Maybelline. I am in the shade 370 Deep Bronze. When I do my concealer, when I do my powder, when all of that is said and done, all of that is so bright on my face and I don't want to look like a ghost. So I start off with a nice chocolatey foundation. And y'all, I know this looks crazy right now. I know this looks crazy right now, but I promise you got to trust the process with this one. And as you can see, I leave this area pretty bright. And that's because we're going to go ahead and lay some concealer on. And if I put foundation around this area, my face is going to start looking cakey because I'm gonna have foundation, concealer, powder. And remember, we want to keep this makeup look nice and non-cakey. So we're gonna make sure our foundation is nice and dried down. And as you guys can see, I have been making sure that my products are dried down for the most part before I put another product on top of that product. And that's because I wanna make sure I'm not going back and double layering. So for example, so let's say I went ahead and put some concealer on before my foundation dried down. Sometimes that foundation moves and I would have to put Put more foundation on the foundation that just moved so I really try to make sure that the products are dried down so that we don't do that double layering and we don't get that cakey look so we're gonna go in with one of my favorite concealers this is the Laura Mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear and I am in the shade 6n we're running out but we're gonna make it work today we're gonna make it work today Hey, we gotta make our work today. Let it dry down. And now we're gonna go in with our damp beauty blender. Blend it out really good. Put it acne scars wire. Hyperpigmentation wire. Told you to trust the process. But I like a little bit of a lighter under eye. So I'm gonna go back in with that Juvia's Place concealer, just a little bit, and we're gonna dot and dot. While the concealer is drying, we're gonna go ahead and contour very lightly. If you have pitted acne scars where your contour areas are, really try to go light in those areas because a darker shade can really bring out those pitted acne scars. Okay, y'all. And now it is time to set the face. Everything that we worked hard on needs to be set. I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Powder. And I'm using my Ripped Beauty Blender from e.l.f. I ripped it in half because as you can see, it's a sponge. Like I'm able to put the powder in the pitted acne scars when I rip my sponge like this because the little sponge parts are like filling in the holes. It is like literally the best technique ever. And I like a lot of powder. You don't have to put a lot of powder, but I like a lot of powder because, because I do get oily in my T-zone. I'm gonna go ahead and do some blush from my favorite blush palette, 
This is the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 from Juvia's Place. And I'm also going to go in with a little bit of Zane. She's a little pink. And I'm feeling extra flirty today, so yeah from the same palette i'm gonna go in with zara i don't really contour my nose the way i used to anymore guys it's like an illusion contour that i do i guess i'm just a little lazy make sure there's no like glob of glitter and if you guys can't already tell i'm extra always going to be extra that's just who i am i'm an aries baby we're fire signs we just extra okay so i'm gonna go in with my makeup forever matte velvet skin powder y'all I'm telling you, if you have pitted acne scars, this product is so good. It blurs out your skin. And so what I like to do is, as you saw, I went in with my setting powder and then I put this powder on and it just gives you like this filtered finish look. But then it also brightens up your under eyes if you're into a nice bright under eye such as myself. It's just so beautiful. And now we're gonna go ahead and bronze to give us some warmth. So I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Sunkiss Stalker. This is in Moco Mommy. Y'all already know if you've been watching us that this is the only bronzer that I've ever really used. And again, for us with pitted acne scarred skin, please make sure you're careful in this with this part because darker makeup, shadows, anything like that is going to bring your acne scars out so please be careful there and last but not least i'm going in with my studio fix powder plus foundation in nw48 from mac and i'm just gonna set everything lots of powder i know y'all a lot of powder but with pitted acne scarred skin powder and a matte look is literally the best way to go that's it's the best way to go a dewy look is cute it's nice I know, but a powdered look where your skin is not reflecting, where your skin doesn't look shiny, where it doesn't look oily, you need a matte look. All of that, the shininess is going to show, bring out your texture, and you don't want that. Unless you do want that, but I know for me, I don't want that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and spray everything down so my skin doesn't look so powdery. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, another one of my favorites that I've been using for years. And I use a generous amount. Okay fam, I'm gonna go off camera, do my lips, and I will be right back. All right fam, so we are back with our final look. As you can see, my face is so flawless. You can't see any hyperpigmentation, any texture. Y'all, the look is just giving. Ah! You guys go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys like this makeup look. I'm about to go out with this look, so I am super excited. Once again, thank you so much for watching, fam, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>